Okay, so you've got a set of golf clubs, uh, you've got custom fit for a set of golf clubs, and then you had some lessons. You changed your swing, you changed the way you deliver, you changed your shot shape. And the question is, do your golf clubs that you originally got custom fit for, do they still fit? And in this video, I'm gonna show you a very cheap and cheerful way of establishing that fact and whether or not your clubs still fit you. Right, golf is an expensive sport and we make a big investment in the equipment we use. And are you sure that it still fits? Did you ever get custom fit? And in this video, I'm gonna show you a way of establishing is uh, A, do your clubs still fit? Are you finding the center of that club face? Because it's all important that you do. And with a five pound investment in a tin of this, it's foot spray for athlete's foot. And what you're gonna do is we're gonna and we're going to do in this video, try and establish the case, is you simply spray this across the front of your club face. Make sure you've got a nice white powder coating. And then you're going to hit a lot of dry golf balls and you're going to see the pattern that develops. And that will tell you whether or not your clubs fit you still and is there anything you can do about it. In this video, I'm going to take a look at two different types of setups, what impacts they have in terms of custom fit. And with this tin of spray, finding out whether they fit me or not. Right, so you've sprayed the club heads, you've made sure you've got dry golf balls by the way for this test and you can do this like I said at any driving range, stick uh, this five pound tin of spray in, you might get the odd few uh, weird looks but trust me this is well worth doing and seeing if your clubs fit and we're going to look at irons, easiest one for me to demonstrate this with. And there are two things, as part of your custom fit, in any custom fit, two things you will go through is establishing the length of shaft that is suitable for you and a lie angle. And both of those things will contribute to you being able to find more consistently the centre sweet spot of a golf club. That's what it's designed to do, that part of the custom fit. And there are many other things, like I said, there's a very simplistic element of custom fit. But it's for you to see whether or not your clubs are still working, still fitting with the swing you've got right now. So, I'm going to use two, same club head, it's a Mizuno iron. We've got two different lengths in terms of shaft. One is standard, one is one inch longer. One has got an upright lie, two degrees upright, and one is a uh, standard lie. But in Mizuno clubs, they tend to be uh, one degree flatter is what we find than most clubs. So I would say one is going to suit me, one isn't, and I'm hoping that bears out in terms of what we see in terms of the pattern that we see on the club face. So I'll start off by hitting, this is the um, extra length in terms of shaft, and it's got the standard um, standard lie angle on it which again is effectively what I would think is what would suit me in terms of those two elements of the test or of the custom fit rather right well first off the theory proves so what I'm going to do let's see if we can do that I'm going to put a video up now and I'll show you in fact let's do it that way where these balls are hitting so as you can see that's a pretty good start and it bears up the theory. That's it. So what I will do, I'll tell you what, you don't want to see me hit golf balls. I'm going to have a few more of these. I'll record the positions that we managed to get on the club face. And what I will then do is I'm going to switch over to the other iron. And once I've got what you need to see, first of all, is you need to see a number of shots that you're comfortable with. If you thin one off the bottom, then eliminate it. It means nothing whatsoever. But if you start to see a pattern develop, in terms of where you're striking on the club face, then you can be pretty satisfied that that's gonna be a, a decent set of results that you can work from. For the purpose of the test, let me just go and switch over to the other eye and get that sprayed and let's see if we can see, if we can establish a, uh, a club that perhaps doesn't fit and how it might be an issue.
But it's incredible to go, st I mean, I'll have to go back and collect some data on that other thing, but we'll look at this. So don't forget, two degrees upright is what we've got in terms of this. So I don't know if you can see there, that's the yellow uh, numbers. When you go in and try a Mizuno club, this insinuates that it is an upright, and what we've got is the standard club length. And just look at this. So what you see in there is straight away a club that is very much towards the heel and off centre. And just in a couple of shots that we filmed on camera, straight away it highlights a major difference. And that for me, I'll carry on it a few more balls and see if a pattern develops, but ultimately that is what you're looking for. You're looking to see differences and what you want to be, you want to be sure that you're finding this. You want to give yourself enough chance as possible. And you want to see a pattern develop around the centre of that club. And if it's not, then there's two things you consider doing. Right, okay, now arguably in life you can overcomplicate things and like I said, I want to keep this as simple and as straightforward as possible. This is all about an investment of £5 into a tin of uh, spray powder for athlete's foot and uh, I think it would be a massive investment to find out this. And like I said, this, this was a very simplistic test. We looked at literally two things, length of shaft and lie angle, but they're mega important in my opinion in making sure... look. I've always said there are no magic wands, but I'm a, a, a big advocate of custom fit because they, it, it gives you a better chance, at least by starting in a position where your club's fit, surely that's better than them being ill-fitted. And I think I've got two club heads there that really establish, in a very simplistic manner, don't get me wrong, but this is the upright uh, club head and arguably had a lot to do with the issue, but for me personally, but very much uh, centred to heel in terms of the strike pattern. And we standard head, um, we very much seen, but with the longer shaft in, and again, which is what my sort of setup would be, it would be arguably one degree flat, but that's something that uh, is, in terms of Mizuno irons, their standard setups tends to be on the flatter side. But you can see again straight away there, I don't want to go sort of out of focus, but hopefully you can pick up and you've seen from the close-ups that have put together that there was a difference in strike position. And I don't think that's no coincidence. So for me, yet the custom fit element is very important. But you've got a couple of issues, obviously. There are elements of our swing that are a problem. And if you start to see variables literally all over the club face, then clearly there's something that you need to do in terms of going to see your PGA Pro and get some lessons to help out. But if you're starting to see a shot pattern that's uh, in the same region virtually on every strike, that's some familiarity in it, then I would say that that's a cause for concern in terms of are the clubs fitting right or not. So a very simple test, a very cheap and simple test. And for me, well, well worth the investments. And if you can, go out and do it yourself and let me know how you get on in terms of the results. As ever, thank you for watching. I, uh, I try and do these things, like I said, with the benefit of the average golfer in mind, and hopefully that's a little bit of a test that might prove to be invaluable. Anyway, like I said, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you soon. Into the black.